Hey everyone, and welcome to Talk with Chad. In this video, I'm going to be doing a speed <clears throat> comparison of the top three major browsers and in their their new forms, their new glory. Uh, now, the the ones I'm going to be testing are the newly released Google Chrome 6.0 beta, Safari 5, and the Mozilla Firefox 4.0 beta 3. Um, and these are all the current, these are all the current versions, and uh, I'm running them on a, uh, a virtual machine using a Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, um, and it has 1 gig of RAM running on a 2.8 gigahertz Core 2 Duo processor. So these were the, the stats are coming from. Now, the first test we're going to be doing <clears throat> is testing boot times. So, okay, so the first test we're going to be doing is a, a speed test. So I brought my iPod here. What I'm going to be doing is just, I'm going to be doing uh, this timing using uh, the stopwatch function. So three, two, one on Google Chrome. Loaded in 1.9 seconds for Google Chrome. Now, we'll do Safari. That was uh, 1.7 seconds. Now Firefox. That was 5.2 seconds. So um, in the in these tests, um, Google Chrome was the fast or no Safari was actually the fastest by like 0.2 seconds. Um, but it's, it's basically a tie, um, because uh, my timer wasn't really computerized, so, you know, you need to throw caution to the wind there. Uh, Firefox was definitely noticeably slower, uh, as it is uh, less of a lightweight browser and more of a, a heavy browser. The second thing we're going to be t testing is the CPU uses. So we're going to open up Chrome, and we're going to idle it, and uh, see how much uh, CPU it uses while idling. So... I don't know how to do control delete in this browser, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up the task manager. I forget the, the name of it, so I'm gonna <sighs> Okay, so I'm gonna edit to where I have the task manager open. Okay, call it open. Task manager. And we're going to do uh, CPU usage. Idling. Nothing's happening. With Google Chrome open, I'm using about uh between 1 and 10% of my CPU just bounces around. The most it hit was 14, and, and it actually idled as low as 0. So, uh, very, very nice. Uh, we're going to go into my processes and see just how much of my memory usage Chrome is using. Chrome.exe is using 17 megabytes of my memory. Very low. So, seven, remember, 17 megabytes or 17,208 kilobytes for Google Chrome. Close up Chrome, and we're going to open up Safari, and uh, go into Task Manager. Um, Safari, where are, oh up here, Safari is using about forty nine, about, about fifty megabytes, so a lot more memory usage than uh, Chrome while idling. If you go into performance, as you can see, um, idles with my total CPU usage at still around one to two percent. So um, very nice. There, actually, it's idling very low with my total CPU usage. Um, so that's 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 good. And now we have Firefox. Firefox, while idling, is using up, let me find this guy first, is using up about 43 megabytes, or 43,084 kilobytes. So Firefox 4 uses more, ma more RAM than Google Chrome, and less than Safari 5. In my performance, as you can see, idling CPU usage idles a little bit um, high at some points. Um, uh, but not not as high, it, it doesn't uh, fluctuate as much as Chrome did. 
and um, certainly, uh, oh yeah, there. We, oh wait, oh there we go. Uh, yeah, they see my my hands are off the mouse and the keyboard and everything. It's idling and it jumped to fifty. So I take that back. It does uh, fluctuate quite a bit. Idles idles quite high at some points, as you can see there. You can see this uh, the spike in uh, usage, and that spike was when it first loaded. But uh, yeah, that's when it climbed all the way up to 50% of my usage. And uh, starting up, you just about 100% of my entire CPU, which is not good. <clears throat> now we're going to test out uh, how much of our CPU they use while starting up. So we're going to open up this performance meter, and I'm going to open up Google Chrome. So watch the CPU usage, idling at 1, open it up. 100%, 72, 45, 11, and back to 5. So in the space of about, um, yeah, see back to 76, and now it's uh, it's about done. Um, as you can see, in the space of about 2 seconds, we jumped from 1% to 100%, to 1% to 76, and now we're um, remaining constant at about uh, <clears throat> under 10. So that's nice, that's for, that's for Chrome. Close that. Okay, back to uh, uh, an idle at one or two. There we go. <clears throat> and we're going to open up Safari. 91, 53, 72, 18, 1. As you can see, it peaked less using 91% uh, max of the CPU while it was loading and starting up. So not too much of a drag on your CPU. Uh, did balance as you can see this is chrome this uh, these three uh, tiers and uh, Safari only had about one one little uh, one little tower there so a nice clean jump from uh, a high CPU usage down to a, a safe idle close that down <coughs> let it idle again at one and now for Firefox 75 67 43 and 4. As you can see, even less CPU usage on the startup than Safari, uh, only peaking at 75% of our total CPU usage. So, um, in total, for starting up CPU usage, Firefox is actually the best and uses less of your CPU while initially starting up. Safari is the second best, and Chrome is actually the worst in this level, using 100% of your CPU in the first second of boot up. So, our, our final test now is the uh, classic ACID3 test. And we're going to do that on all, all the browsers. ACID3 is basically a, a simple benchmark um, to uh, determine the browser's settings. So we're going to go to the ACID3 test here. One hundred percent. So we got a hundred out of hundred on ACID3. Um, not the smoothest rendering. Um, we did fail the link test, um, but uh, overall, <clears throat> it's still uh, still better than uh, than Internet Explorer, which on our last test uh, hit only the 45 mark. So a uh, 100 is the mark to beat, or the mark to uh, achieve for Safari. Let's see if we can do it. Go to the S3 test. As you can see, it passed the link test 100% and uh, rendered a little bit more smooth than Google Chrome. So, um, uh, Safari actually performs better on ACID3 than Chrome, which is nice to know. Firefox, the final contestant for the ACID3 test. As you can see, Firefox did the worst on this test hitting the only 97 although it did pass the link test um, which Chrome failed so overall uh, in, in placing um, Safari then Chrome then Firefox um, now Safari er, initial boot up Safari and Chrome pretty much tied um, CPU usage, Chrome definitely won that one by far at idle. Starting up, uh, Chrome lost and uh, Firefox 
uh, took the cake right there with uh, only 75% of your CPU usage as at startup. Um, and in the JavaScript test, Safari was the vector there. So those are just my uh, my simple uh, benchmark tests between uh, the three major browsers, uh, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. I didn't test Internet Explorer because Internet Explorer sucks. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, have a great day.